Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a beer, it's time for some Path of Exile discussion. Gonna keep this one really short. It's a little bit of a tip for those of you that have rolled a boss killer character uh, in the Ritual League and that are looking to make some cur uh, currency out of your ability to kill some of the harder bosses in the game. This doesn't require you to beat the very, very, very toughest bosses. You don't need to be able to beat uh, High Templar Venerius in the Cortex. You don't need to be able to beat all the Crystal King, but you will need to be able to defeat the four Shaper Guardians. And you'll, not only will you need to be able to defeat them, but you'll need to be able to defeat them pretty comfortably because you're going to have to be defeating them while the Maven is watching them. Uh, and so the Maven is going to be interfering in the fights, uh, doing her things of occasionally healing the boss 10% of their life, uh, which imposes a strict DPS minimum. Uh, additionally, she will be putting down her gravity zones, all sorts of things just to uh, sort of slightly ruin your day. But the reason that I raise this strategy is that this is the cheapest we've seen Shaper Guardian maps in a long time. The reason for that is one of the new Atlas Ascendancy passives, this is in the Hidden Uncharted Realm section, uh, that will give you a 3% chance upon killing a tier 14, 15 or 16 map boss to receive a Shaper Guardian map. Uh, you'll also get an additional 3% chance to get an Elder Guardian map. This stacks with the Awakening uh, with the awakening bonus 4% uh, chance that you get at Awakening level 8, and so as a result, you can get a massive 7% uh, chance upon killing a map boss to get a Shaper map and an additional 7% to get an Elder Guardian map. So the strategy is simple. Run these maps. Run them as hard as you can. Uh, so if you're capable of just running them scoured, then run them scoured. That will be profitable. But if your character is powerful enough to run them Elked or even uh, Chiselock Vald, then run them Chiselock Vald and you will make more out of this strategy. So you'll get all of the normal rewards that you get from just running the T16 Shaper Guardian maps. Uh, but you'll then have the guaranteed Shaper Guardian fragments. And at the time that I'm recording this video, uh, the Shaper Guardian fragments are sitting at about 8 chaos each. So they pretty much pay for your entry fee into the map. Additionally though, uh, as well as all the other loot you'd normally get, about one map in five, you will receive a Maven's Invitation the Formed. A lot of people still want this. Uh, this is one of the new arena encounters that the Maven runs, and you will have to fight against all four Shaper Guardians. Two will be released immediately, uh, a third will be released at 30 seconds into the fight, and a fourth will be released at 60 seconds into the fight. And the third and fourth ones will come out a little bit quicker if you kill any of the Guardians before, the, before that. So that's a chaotic, very difficult fight. However, it's pretty lucrative. Uh, doing this will get you Crescent Splinters, uh, you get five of them for running it uh, for running an elked uh, Maven's invitation the formed. I believe you get two for a scoured one, three for a transmuted, and five for an elked. I'm, I'm not absolutely certain of those. Uh, you seem to always get an uh, one of the Atlas passive point resets, and you'll also get a bunch of other rewards. Uh, these will add up. And so running Maven's Invitation the Formed, if your character is powerful enough to do it, is definitely lucrative. But if you're not powerful enough to do it, that's fine too. Uh, just simply sell it. Uh, these were selling instantly at 34, 35 chaos uh, when I was last logged on. As you can see, they've gone up in price to 37 since then. So they'll sell really quickly. And that basically means that with about a 20% chance to get one of these and the guaranteed fragment, you're looking at essentially a seven chaos profit just from completing the map. But that's ignoring every drop. That's assuming that you don't loot a single drop in there. Then, of course, you'll get all sorts of league events in there. You'll get a ritual in there. Uh, all these things add up as well. And as a result, uh, it ends up being a pretty lucrative option. I'm not suggesting that this is necessarily the absolute best strategy possible in the current league, uh, but it's certainly one that works and will make you consistent, easy currency uh, as long as you're capable of defeating these, what I would term medium difficulty endgame bosses. But the real currency does kick in if you are capable of taking on the Maven's Invitation as well uh, and then picking up all of the loot from those, uh, you'll end up swimming in currency doing that. The last thing that you can do if you're capable of beating the formed is uh, run a service for other people. Uh, lots of people will happily pay 50 chaos uh, for you to run their the formed because when they, when they get you to run the formed for them, uh, they will receive two Atlas passive points if they haven't run the formed yet on their account. Uh, that's a huge bonus, so lots of people want that. Anyway, uh, that's all I've really got at the moment. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, fire away below. Uh, otherwise, I'll leave it there. I hope you have a good one.